Okay, hi everyone. Today we'll be continuing with our review, revision we can say, but we're going to do it this time to a different platform. We'll be using the Entropass web. Lately we've been reviewing configuration, um, creating connection, express setup, but we have done all of these to the workstation. Now we want to do those, but to the web, the Entropass web, okay? Now, before we can do so, we need to make sure the Entropass, everything is set up, configured correctly, so we can use the Entropass web, because the Entropass web is a solution and it depends of the server and the component which is mandatory called smart link we need that definitely all right um we could start by taking a look on whether or not the application needed ah yes we are talking about the smart link and here remember when we come to status application that's where you see the application available uh we have the server workstation we know it's working and that's what we're using we have this gateway is online the smart link is online we have two workstation none of them are online right now we can see that because they wait maybe they're not even installed or they installed they're not being used right now oh <laughs> right but okay so we know the smart link is warning I mean, smart link warning is one thing, smart link setup correctly is a different thing. So how do we do the setup? Are we making sure it's set up correctly? We need to go devices application. We will select the smart link and we'll go to the tab called web service. Uh -huh. Okay, so here we can see, it is installed, but the web service is not even enabled. So first we start by enabling it. Then we'll add the connection name. That can be the company name, the customer name, you know. <laughs> you need you add a name uh, referring to the customer. Okay. Um, then mandatory, we have to change this one because that one is, will be looped back to the, I mean, that's not the correct IP at all. That's the loop back IP. So we're gonna add the IP address of the computer running the smart link. Okay, so wherever the smart link is installed and running, that's the IP we need to add there or the domain name, you know. Now, most of the time, the smart link is on the same computer. So if it's the, the case, you add the same computer in the server. So you add the, the server IP there. All right, anyhow, you need to add the IP where the smart link is. Okay, so I add the IP since my smart link is running and I add the, you know, IP configuration or domain. Now here, all I have to do is to make a double click with the mouse. It will populate the information needed, as you can see. Okay, what are those information? Those are the link to be used to install the smart link and another computer. So when we create a user, when we create an operator, then they will receive an email. Of course, you have to review the video how to configure your email server in the Entropass, of course, in order to for the Entropass to be able to send an email. Okay. Um, and that's the same smart link, that's the same component when you're using your um, Entropass Go Pass, for example. The, when you set up the user at the first time, you will receive an email with the link to set up the Go Pass in the phone. Okay, so that's, we'll be using that same configuration we're doing here for the Entropass web will be also you know, use for those other components. We have the port, those TCP port for Entropass Web. 
the port are 8801 and 8802. Okay, remember that because these need to be enabled. Mm, these need to <laughs> on your firewall and your network in and out. So you can, or if you're coming from the outside, you need to also have them forwarded to the local IP of the smart link. All right. And for the protocol, I mean, right now my server is, I don't have any SSL certificate added. So I will leave it that way. That's what we call not secure as so for a web connection. I save and all right. So um down to the third step now. First step was to making sure the smart link is running, then the smart link is set up. Now let's move on to the next step. Next step will be, for example, to come on a web page. Let's do it again. And making sure, first of all. I could just type localhost. This is to make sure the IAS is running because the we need a web server in order for you to have the Entropas web running at the first place. So I have the IAS running. I can see that it's confirmed. Now, if you type the localhost and you have any AOR page or nothing at all, you need to troubleshoot your IAS making sure that page is coming up. After that, um, I'm going to test my domain. Yep. I mean, you see the not secure there because of what I explained before. I don't have an SSL added. That's something we can see later on in some other video. Now, after that, confirm that my AS is green, all in warning, I mean, I'm going to check the HRPAS web if it's also up and running. All right. What how I did that slash entropass web and I end up on which mean my entropass web the smart link because the entropass web is installed at the same time your smart link is installed. So for example if in if you had your Kentech installed without the smart link you will need to go to the step of installing the smart link and that will also install the Entropass web component. Even if it's not set up, but it will, I mean, as you see here, I didn't understand anything uh, because it will install originally when I install the Entropass. That's why you could see here, have a link saying Entropass website. For example, I could just shut that down and I click here. It will bring me to that same page I was earlier, Entropass website. Here we go. So local host and stuff like that. All right. Now, just before I go further, I want to get your attention to the fact that it it's, can be confusing when you when you hear Entropass web. So sometimes people think that's a web page. You need to go to a web page. No. Uh, the name comes to the fact that for you to originally install it at any PC, you need to go to a web page. That's the only time you need the, to go to the web page. Because after it's installed, as you're going to see here, I click on download and it's going to download the, you know, the installer. That's all I need from the web. I need to get to the web page and get the installer. Okay, then I'm gonna want that one. And after it's installed, I don't need to go to any web page anymore. So I'm going to install that for all users. I'm going to hit next and I'm waiting, doing his stuff. And after it's done, you see here, I have a new icon there, Entropass Web. So next time I need to go to the Entropass Web, I just come here and I just double click on Entropass Web and it will bring me to the web. Here we go. Now, let's wait a moment. I mean, it is okay. So I have Entropass Web. It's asking me for my username and password. There is something I want to show you. I'm going to the famous Kentech that pretty much everybody who knows Kentech know that one. And I have a oops. It's funny because that's what I just used to ac access the workstation, but it doesn't work. I mean, 
maybe it's because I'm logged in here. Let's see if I logged out and I try again. Oops, still doesn't let me in. Now, what happened? I mean, the provider, they, they, they've been asking us and take away the installer customer to make sure we change that logging information. And you know, there is a lot of us who has Kentech for years and we still have Kentech, Kentech. So now, since <laughs> uh, the web or the Go, that's something you can remotely install. And, and, and so they're making sure, you know what? Let's making sure no default logging will work on those. And that's for your safety. In another word, you have to create an operator. And that, please, you will not be able to use can take neither in the username nor in the password. So I go system, I'm going to create the operator. I have to create a new one anyhow. So, OK, no problem. Let's do that. Uh, so, um, um, doing that quickly. Uh, login name, mm -hmm. password. Yes, security. I'm going to set myself an installer because we need to see quite some more stuff in those coming up video. Oh, I had a picture of, I mean, not myself, but I had a picture of mine. Okay, now that I create an no operator, let's see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We are in. Yes, so we got the Entropass web installed. Let me remind you people, if you have corporate, you have global, you have an Intivo, you do have access to the Entropass web, it's already there. All you need to do is to do the setup as I'm just, I mean, I just did it with you, I mean, to show you. Um, you have one concurrent license uh, in those. So it would mean you install, you set up, you can log in like, the same way I'm logging now. Okay. Now, you see, I can go operation. I can see my door. I could go to user. I could see my user. I can go to 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 my the operator there. I can go to set up hardware. So, you have an workstation there, Entropass web and you have it's a new station it's a client that you can use and 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 way cooler <laughs> cool than the normal uh you know workstation that we all use with it um of course we're going to 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 stop there and that's that that first video was to remind you how to get your entropass web set up and we'll make sure to have some new new video coming up. Remember again, um, you have any of you has the Entropas or have the, the Entropas corporate, global, or an Intivo, you just do the step and you have your Entropas web and you have one access. Now, if you need more connection, more concurrent connection, which means you can have 10 users at the same time, five users, 20 or more, you just Follow up with your vendor, contact your Kentech vendor and get license for more concurrent connection for the Entropass web. That's it. Okay, I think um, that's all for today. Of course, as you know, we like to do a review. So what do we have done? First, we check and making sure the Entropass, the smart link component is installed. If it's not installed, now you need to go and make sure it's you install it. Okay. Now, after that, 
we went and making sure of the configuration of that component called smart link by going to devices application, select smart link, go to web service, and we do the setup there. Okay. Of course, you might need to talk to IT to have them enable in and out 8801 and 8802. And after I've done that, I went to um, a web page and I make sure IAS is running. How? I just type the IP of the PC. And I will have that page saying I, IS, you know, information. After I have that, and I'm sure it's good and <clears throat> so it's confirmed that it is running, then I go to Entropass Web and I want the installation. Now you can see here I have the version 860, I have a quite, it's a quite a new recent version. And you install that. Of course, you see there is a link there talking about Apple because you can also use the Entropass Web if you have Apple. You just need to go download that in the Apple Store and you go through uh, setting it up. So you can use the Entropass Web in an um, iOS, you know, and your Apple computer or in a Windows computer. And then I want that one, install it. And after I install it, there was an icon that came in the um, here called Entropass Web. So which means next time, I don't need to go to any of those steps. All I have to do is to come there as any station. I just double click Entropass Web and wait for it to give me the screen and I can log in. That's it. And these, I mean, I know I have one concurrent connection, but I can install that in all the PC I want in my company. But only one person can log at the same time. So I have to wait for the person to log out for in order to log in. And if I want to resolve that, I can raise the quantity of concurrent connection by getting the proper license. With this, I thank you for your time and hope that you can enjoy the Entropass web if you were not enjoying it before. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.